Dwaller, Cameroon. Dwaller is Cameroon's largest city and its economic hub. It is also the capital of the littoral region of Cameroon. It has been the commercial and economic capital of Cameroon in all Semic region, encompassing Gabon, the Congo, Chad, Equatorial Guinea, Central Africa and Cameroon and is home to the largest port in Central Africa and its major international airport, Dwaller International Airport. As a result, it handles the majority of the country's principal exports, including oil, cocoa and coffee, lumber, metals and fruits. As of 2018, the city and its surrounding area had a total population of 2,768,400 people. This cosmopolitan city of around 3 million residents is home to nearly 20% of the country's urban population and is Central Africa's most populous city. It is located on the Atlantic Ocean coast, about 130 miles, 210 kilometers, west of Yoandi, on the southeastern shore of the Wuri River estuary. Welcome to Thinkrich Media, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business, and personal development content to inform, motivate, and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe entrepreneurship, rather than global pity, is the key to Africa's growth and development. So if you're African and you aren't subscribed to our community, you're missing out. Brief History The Portuguese were the first Europeans to visit the area in 1472. The Wuri River estuary was known as the Rio das Camers at the time, Shrimp River. By 1650, it had become the site of a settlement populated by Dwaller-speaking immigrants who had arrived from Congo. It was the core of the transatlantic slave trade in the 18th century. Dwaller appeared to be made up of four different settlements and four different sites in 1826. Dado, Dido, Aqua, Joe, and Hickory Town, known today as Bonnebury. Located on the other side of Wuri River, the city was a German protectorate from 1884 and 1895. The colonial politics were centered on commerce and occasional exploration of empty territory. Alfred Saker founded the British Baptist Church's first mission in 1885. In the same year, the city of Cameroon was renamed Dwaller and became the territory's capital until 1902, when it was relocated to Bouguer. Dwaller had 23,000 citizens when the Ministry of Colonies was founded in 1907. Following World War I in 1999, the German colonial possessions became French and British protectorates. The Dwaller administration was mandated to France. A treaty was signed with the local chiefs. From 1940 to 1946, it served as Cameroon's capital. In 1955, the city had a population of more than 100,000 people. Cameroon gained independence in 1960 and established a federal republic with its capital in Yaoundé. Dwaller rose to prominence as a significant economic center. The federal republic became a unitary state in 1972. Dwaller had a population of roughly 500,000 people at the time. Cameroon's campaign for liberalization and multipartism escalated in the 1980s. Between May and December 1991, Dwaller was at the epicenter of the civil disobedience campaign known as the Ghost Town Operation, in which economic activities were halted in order to render the country uncontrollable and force the government to allow multipartism and freedom of expression. Before coming under German control in 1884, the town was also known as Cameroon's town. After that, it was renamed Cameroonstadt, Cameroon City, the capital of German Cameroon. In 1907, it was renamed Douala after the locals known as Dua Ala Ijaz, and it became a part of French Cameroon in 1919. During the Portuguese era, many Ija inhabitants relocated to Nigeria's Niger Delta. Culture and people Cameroon is home to almost 250 different languages and dialects. Official languages are French and English, however Dwaller is predominantly Francophone. Dwaller's indigenous language is Dwaller, which also shares the city's name. Dwaller has a significant social-cultural diversity. 
demonstrating the importance of local people's linguistic and cultural peculiarities. Throughout history, the city has had relationships with people from all backgrounds. The most represented foreign nationalities in Dwaller are Nigerian, French, Lebanese, Togolese, Greek, Senegalese, Malian, Beninese, Central African, Indian, German. The nationals from friendly countries firmly established in Dwaller invest in the manufacturing industry, hotel and catering services, general trading, import, export. This is why, in order to manage these large foreign communities, 32 consular posts among the most representative of Cameroon are present in Dwaller. The management of all these national citizens, as well as of the expatriates in the urban area, involves the development of a living together strategy in order to foster harmony in the city. The challenges of living together in Dwaller have therefore defined the balance between economic activities and sociocultural diversity. This also requires increasing the responsibilities of local authorities in order to enable citizens to get involved in the management of their neighborhood and their city, and ultimately to live in harmony. The Gondo Festival, as well as other seizure pleasures, are strongly rooted here, as the people of this region celebrate their close relationship with water. Most people enter the country through here, and there are many historic monuments to see. Natural features include the Akam Cam Waterfalls, Lake Asa, and extensive commercial plantations. City Layout Waller's Business District and Bonanjo its Administrative District. Plateau Joss is the old name for the modern Aqua District. The district's names refer to the Dwala lineage as well as the neighborhoods. For example, between Bell and Dado, Aqua was historically divided into Bonadibong, Bonamanki, Bonlek, Bonilam, Bonjing, Bonamuti, Boni Combo, Bonabajan, and Bonaku Muang. The prefix Bona means descendant of. 2. Bassa is a vast area in the eastern part of the city. It is a mixed area including many neighborhoods such as Lod Baba, Dog Passi, Site des Pommiers, PK8, and many others. It also includes one of the two major industrial zones of the city, the other being in Bonabury. 3. Bonabury is located on the right of Wuri River. It is primarily an industrial neighborhood but is gradually becoming a mixed area including more residential and commercial areas. It is connected by the two only bridges of the city. It is also the main opening toward the western Anglophone area of the country. 4. Bonaparizo is one of the wealthiest area of the city and even of the country. Historically a residential neighborhood, it has become a mixed area including commercial galleries, restaurants and shops. 5. Bonanjo is the administrative district, with many large administrations, larger companies and banks offices, with higher buildings than the rest of the city. 6. Dado is a historical neighborhood located in the north-central part of the city. It includes one of the main junctions of the city known as the Ron Point Dado and the symbol of the city the Enjanju, the monster. 7. New Bell is an historical neighborhood of the city. It was founded in the early 20th century, with the expropriation by the Germans of the natives Dwaller people from the Plateau Joss. It is known for housing since then newcomers in the city from all parts of the country and even from abroad, mainly West Africa. It is today a very populous neighborhood with very tough conditions. Two of the main markets of the city, Central Market and Nkalalan Market, are in the area. Bali is a residential area near the Bonanjo administrative area. The Panda is an extremely heavily inhabited area. It is most likely the city's most populated area, with numerous residents from West Africa and other parts of the country. There is the seat of the University of Dwaller, as well as a key telecommunications center for Cameroon. Bonamosadi is the city's main residential district, located in the northwestern section of the city. In a previously quite residential area, there has recently been a considerable increase in the installation of malls, supermarkets, restaurants, and even nightclubs. 
Cado is a modern residential area near Bonamo Sati. It grew in the early 1980s with the Societe Immobilière du Cameroun SIC, housing projects and is now the prime area for the city's small but growing middle and upper classes. The Chamber of Commerce, the new Palace of Justice, the new railway station, the Vault of the King's Bell, and the Catholic Cathedral of Saints Peter and Paul were all completed between 1925 and 1930, during the French colonial period. Construction was accelerated between 1930 and 1955, and the Worry River Bridge was completed in 1955. The Mausoleum of the King's Aqua was built in 1935. In 1947, the Temple of the Centenary was built. According to Daniel Diodicato, a new city plan was established in 1959 and is still influencing Dwaller's urban growth. A new development and urban plan were formed after the country's independence in 1960. In 1998, a study was conducted to prepare a forecast for the year 2015. In 2005, a new development and urban plan were built, as well as additional routes and public canalizations. Project Sawa Beach was launched the same year. Dwaller has been producing terracotta bricks since 1888. Suites Architectural is a periodical that focuses on legacy and reappropriation in Dwaller architecture, and it presents the characteristics of the buildings and architecture of Dwaller after its independence. Among these structures are the Casino, the La Mubori Showroom, the Kami Toyota Exhibition Hall, the Union Bank of Cameroon in Mubal Holando, the Baptist Church in Mubal Victoria, the CASCB headquarters, a space dweller, and orange flagship. Dika Aqua Nukanda Palace was erected in 1990. Some of Cameroon's greatest restaurants, coffee shops, and French-style patisseries can be found along the city's main avenue. Along the waterfront, several pubs and bistros provide commanding views of the Gulf of Guinea and neighboring mangrove swamps. Many of these are frequented by the city's sizable expatriate population, the majority of whom are French or Lebanese and work in the petroleum business, government and services. Dwaller is home to roughly 20% of the country's 19 million people. It is also Cameroon's economic center, with an international airport and one of the largest ports on Africa's Atlantic coast. There are two urban communities, Dwaller and Yewendi, separated into 11 urban districts, five in Dwaller and six in Yewendi. Nine towns with special status, Kinsamba, Bafausam, Baymenda, Lim, Edaya, Evaloa, Garwa, Marwa, and Kumba. 11 urban communes and 305 rural communes as of 2005 and since 1996. Mayors and municipal councillors are chosen to lead the councils. Under the supervision of the state, the councils are responsible in essence for the management of local affairs. Commerce Douala, one of Central Africa's major industrial centers, is home to breweries, textile manufacturers, and palm oil, soap, and food processing businesses. Building materials, metals, plastics, glass, paper, bicycles, and timber goods are also produced. Boat and ship maintenance, railway engineering, and radio assembly are some of the other activities available. By the early 2000s, offshore petroleum and natural gas reserves had not been explored. Douala's deepwater port handles the majority of the country's international trade. It offers capabilities for handling forest products, bananas, gasoline, and bauxite, as well as fishing. Transportation The port of Douala serves numerous neighboring nations and is the principal gateway to Cameroon and the Central African subregion. Dwaller's Deepwater Port handles the majority of the country's international trade. It has unique processing facilities for timber, bananas, gasoline, and bauxite, as well as fishing facilities. The Wuri Bridge, which connects Dwaller with the port of Bonaburi, is 5,900 feet, 1,800 meters, long and transports both road and rail traffic to western Cameroon. Dwaller, the country's largest industrial center and port, is located on the Atlantic Ocean's Wuri River estuary. 
The Wurri, 20 miles, 32 kilometers, northeast of Yavesi, is formed by the confluence of two head streams, the Cam and the Makami. The river then runs southwest for about 100 miles, 160 kilometers, before emptying into the Gulf of Guinea. It is navigable for 40 miles, 64 kilometers, along its lower channel, which is located below Yabesi. Dwaller is served by an international airport with connections to destinations around Cameroon, the region, and Europe. It is the busiest airport in the country. The airport is administered and partly owned 34%, by the business airport Du Cameroon AC, which also operates the country's other three airports. Education Dwaller is home to the University of Yoandi's economic section, as well as a number of commercial, agricultural, and industrial institutions, as well as research centers in health, forestry, textiles, oil seed derivatives, and meteorology. A museum and a handicraft center promote Cameroonian art production and preservation. Thank you for watching. If there are any tips you think should be on this list but is not, leave a comment let us know. Help our channel grow. We hope this video has been helpful to you. Support us by liking the video, subscribing and turning on your notification.